Greetings, everyone. A warm welcome to another edition of Marketing the Invisible. My name is Tom Poland, beaming out to you from on the little white sand and the little castaways beach next to the big blue Pacific Ocean. Joined today by Jonathan Cullinan. Jonathan, g'day, sir. Very warm welcome. Where are you hanging out? Uh, hi, Tom. Thanks for the opportunity to be on here today, buddy. I'm hanging out in uh, not so sunny Auckland, North Shore in New Zealand, at the bottom of the globe there. And uh, yeah, it's a bit dull and rainy today, so I'll well, bring being, a bit of personality being, to compensate. I, I lived in Auckland for about 30 years. So I remember it's the, you know, it's the city of four seasons in one day. So the sun's probably going to come oh. out soon and then. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> You'll be off again yes. into winter. Um, so Absolutely. enough of the, the climate lessons. Sorry, <laughs> folks. Um, for those of you who don't know Jonathan, he helps service professionals and educators. Now, this is very interesting. So please listen up, expand their revenue, add to the revenue, another revenue stream, if you like, with membership solutions. So this is more like a software as a service model where people are going to be paying you money month after month after month after month after month, as opposed to the old model, which is we sold them something and now they've disappeared forever. So I really like the value proposition behind this. Can't wait to hear uh, all the gems that are going to flow out of Jonathan's mouth. We've got uh, a title, therefore, is yes, how, I should announce that. How to expand your monthly revenue with memberships. Jonathan's going to tell us how to do that in just seven minutes. Jonathan, our time starts now. Question number one. Seven minutes left. Who's your ideal client? Well, they say you can't run from your DNA, and I'm not able to run from the educator part of myself, Tom. So our ideal client is a knowledge or service-based professional that's looking uh, to educate and empower their audience for the purpose of impacting and improving the world around us. Trainers, coaches, online educators. Uh, Yes. Perfect. Thank uh, you, sir. All those types. Yeah. And question, question number two is, we've got um, six, six and a half minutes left. Question number two is, what's the problem you solve for them? Great question. And uh, just to quickly preface my answer here, uh, we've personally endured years of chasing magic bullets, uh, white rabbits down holes and <laughs> uh, shiny software. And uh, we know how exhausting this is on our time, energy and uh, cash flow. Right. So we help businesses avoid the usual tech aches and what we call paralysis by procrastination, uh, specifically around getting a course program or membership out into the ether. Uh, and we also make it easy for small businesses to get a lead generation funnel up running and working for their marketplace. So it's it, you help them build the front end, the lead generation, as well as the back end, the value delivery part. Correct. Yeah. Perfect. One stop shop. So tell front us about uh, five and a half minutes left. Question three is what are some of the typical symptoms that people are going to be experiencing that will kind of give them a heads up that they need to find out more about Course Commander? Yes, indeed. Uh, and we like to refer to the, one of the main symptoms as shiny software syndrome. <laughs> and uh, I'm sure you've heard of it before. Yeah, well, that I've been I mean, down that of, uh, Still going down it. <laughs> it's, still, it's, a, it's a work in progress, always. Um, but I mean, a lot of businesses, you know, there's a sense about the white rabbits, they tend to chase those or the magic bullet, you know, in order to find uh, a quicker fix to their frustrated, uh, what we call tech aches and procrastination. Right. But this, of course, then creates a vicious cycle of using and abusing their most uh, precious resources, which we need. Uh, so uh, we're there to educate and guide people to you know, save time, uh, save energy, and do things a bit smarter and efficiently you know, when it comes to online tech. So Right, so you, you take that magic bullet and shoot the white rabbit that's chasing the shiny things, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> As a vegan, oh, okay, maybe you know, not. Maybe just slap around the head. All right, <laughs> something so, like that. Yeah. So, so let's let's talk. So, I want to explore more of the symptoms. So, um, we've got this person who's 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 buying software and it's not quite the right thing. Um, what are some of the other common mistakes they're going to make? And we've got four minutes left. This is question four. So, cool. because they're smart people, they want to grow their business, they want to develop more recurring revenue probably. What are they going yes, to try that's probably not going to work so well? Well, we find because businesses are chasing a quick fix, uh, they're constantly in this uh, reactive state of uh, finding, uh, using, and then dumping mm -hmm. 
uh, right. the next shiniest software tool on the block, right? right. <laughs> no, well. Um, so one of the most common and actual biggest mistakes is that people start off with uh, little to no strategic variables in place. So for example, you know, what the actual software is going to cost them, how much time it's realistically going to take to uh, implement the tasks required to achieve their goal. Um, and this often then creates more shiny software seeking and mm -hmm. uh, even worse, duct taping tools together mm. in the hope that the next you know, marketing tool they buy will hit the jackpot. Because that is one of the big challenges is you've got all these tools, but they're very often siloed and not speaking to each other well. Um, right. So we try to fix that by another piece of software, which probably actually makes the problem even worse. So let's, exactly. um, so, so the vision <laughs> yeah. therefore is we've got this platform, course commander in this case, that's, bringing in prospects, nurturing those prospects, converting those prospects, and then satisfying them with full value through through some form of online education, training, or coaching. Yeah, That's quite a lot. And, and it's something that, as you probably know, we, we do ourselves, and I know, so therefore, how, how profitable it can be. But yeah. it's a big job. So what I want to do is I want to ask you about one step that someone could take that may not fulfill the whole vision. Well, it won't, but it might take him a step in the right direction. That, that's question five, two minutes left. Okay. Um, well, I, always the most effective answers in business are the simplest ones, buddy. So I'd advise the businesses, you know, to create a simple strategy around their goals and specific software that they need to support the outcome they're looking for. Uh, obviously, using the SMART principle, there needs to be a sense of realism, the capacity to measure their actions along the way, and a specific time frame, of course, that then holds them accountable for achieving their goal. And it's this plan then that they've got that allows them to reverse and engineer, I, I guess, the desired outcome they're looking for. So that then they know the, to the exact letter which tools are a minimum requirement right. uh, for their daily tasks. So, so figure out what you want. Yeah, in in your life in the business context, and work back from there to figure out what might be the most relevant platform. Good, Break it down. Good, good advice. We, we've got um, question six is a valuable free resource where people can go and find out more, folks. If the idea of having this holistic or or complete lead generation value delivery model in in your business in place is a good one, you should go to coursecommander.com. So I'm asking, just for the sake of time, answering the question I just asked, coursecommander.com, because there's a 14-day um, free trial. You can have a look at there. You could dip your toe in the water, and I think you get pretty excited about the potential. Um, so let, let's let's just leave it at that. We'll, we'll publish the link under the interview for those of you watching the, 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 the video. Question seven is, what's the one question I should have asked you but didn't? And we've got 30 seconds, please, and the answer. Oh, Super quick. Uh, I'd probably say what motivates me on a daily basis, actually. I've been in business uh, for over 15 years, and I guess for me it's helping supporting heart-centric business souls to sprinkle their magic and impact the world in a positive fashion, you know, but without having to stress the tech stuff along the way. Beautiful. And I love making it easier for them to shine their light. Great mission. Darker your, times. Your karma yeah. will be great. Thanks so much, Jonathan. Thanks, <laughs> Good stuff. Thanks, Ben. Thanks for checking out our Marketing the Invisible podcast. If you like what we're doing here, please head over to iTunes to subscribe, rate us, and leave us a review. It's very much appreciated. And if you want to generate five fresh leads in just five hours, then check out www.5hourchallenge.com.